As a general rule of thumb, babies do best when they're born at 39 weeks or slightly beyond that, and their chance of having breathing problems, jaundice, or having eating problems is lower. But there are definitely exceptions to that rule. In some cases, early delivery is indicated because the risk of the baby being born at an early gestational age is lower than the risk of the mother or baby staying pregnant. Some examples include the development of preeclampsia or intrauterine growth restriction or when the baby isn't growing very well inside of the mother. Um, placenta previa, twins, and cholestasis are a few more examples. Take placenta previa, for example. Delivery is indicated around 36 weeks if a mother hasn't needed to be delivered before that point. Um, with a placenta previa, the placenta is over the cervix, and this can lead to massive bleeding episodes. And to prevent that from happening, which could be potentially life-threatening to the mother or the baby, early delivery is indicated because at 36 weeks, the baby may go to the NICU temporarily and need temporary breathing assistance, may develop jaundice, and, and need some help with eating. But those are short-term hurdles that can be overcome, and those risks are lower than a bleeding episode that could put the mother and baby's life at risk. Twins are another example. A doctor will likely recommend delivery between 37 and 38 weeks for twins if the woman hasn't already delivered at that point, because after that, the risk of stillbirth increases. And so, of course, stillbirth is a much higher risk than short-term problems like temporary breathing assistance or the development of jaundice or, you know, temporary eating problems. Those, again, can all be overcome. So it all comes down to weighing out the risks of delivering at that gestational age versus the risks of staying pregnant. And this is something that um, only a doctor can recommend based on their knowledge of a woman's circumstances. So if you have more specific questions about it, talk with your doctor and they'll be able to give you tailored information and advice. If you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too. <laughs>